The mayor's recommended budget is $4.36 billion. That Of that, more than $390 million is earmarked for education. There is some concern from Mayor Scott about how long the city can continue to spend at this level. This would mean, as we move out year after year, uh, this would mean tough decisions for the city. Uh, and, and that's why we're looking to work with our partners to figure out uh, solutions that work for not just us, but for other jurisdictions around, around the state. Well, unlike in years past, this budget does not include a major increase for the Baltimore Police Department. However, the proposed budget includes money for the department to hire five new civilian positions to the Victims Services Program. This is part of the plan to expand the group violence reduction strategy to the southwestern and south districts. By 2024, the mayor hopes to make this program one that is citywide. Another public safety initiative funded in the budget involves fire safety. The city wants to create four fire safety positions within the fire department. This was a recommendation following the deadly Stricker Street fire back in January of last year. The COVID-19 pandemic impacted routine recycling and trash collections. And now three years after the pandemic started, the city does not have weekly recycling pickups. The proposed budget funds 37 new positions now within the Department of Public Works to restore that service. This is about us putting a big effort into that. This is about putting a big effort to make sure that we don't have to continue to borrow from street cleaning or dumping and all these other parts to put people on trash routes and recycling routes. This is about building the capacity in DPW as we work to making sure that recycling and every other service uh, returns to the way that it was before uh, the pandemic. Uh, Rec and Parks and Senior Services are also funded through this budget. City residents will be able to make their voices heard on the proposal. The annual Taxpayers Night is on April 26. Ashley. All right, Kai, thank you. And in that spending plan released by Mayor Scott today, a request for hundreds of millions of dollars toward education. The mayor admits, though, that one line is in his education budget, maybe a heavy lift. 11 News Education reporter Dr. Tim Tootin live in North Baltimore with this story. Tim. Well, actually, the mayor does have concerns about how the city will pay its portion of money needed to fund the blueprint for Maryland's future or the current proposals. When you're talking the about mayor says he and his staff did the math and came up with a big number needed for city schools, a little more than $400 million. Add to that, another $79.4 million needed to pay the city's share of the blueprint for Maryland's future. It'll be a lot more than last year. It was a gut punch uh, because we're, when you're talking about a much smaller increase, it allows us to uh, be thinking in a much bigger way and more innovation. A little bit later, he reaffirmed his commitment to support the city's financial obligations. We are going to meet this requirement because it's the right thing to do and the only way that we're going to grow and to be being the best Baltimore and that's investing in our school system. Today is why today's significant. Investments in the classroom as well as after school and summer jobs programs. Mayor's budget calls for renovating and reopening recreation centers and increasing the hourly wage for some 7,000 students taking part in the Youth Work Summer Jobs Program. He also plans to extend school-based violence prevention programs. I think that it really speaks to the dedication and, and the value that the city is placing on young people. The head of the Parent Community Advisory Board believes the mayor's budget must go beyond dollars and cents and also focus on accountability. We want to make sure that it is getting into the hands of young people and that it is really supporting in the way that it needs to be. Dollars they hope will start rolling in as early as this summer to support programs to help students catch up. There's still a ways to go before the mayor's budget gets a green light. Expect plenty of adjustments between now and then. Live in North Baltimore, Tim Tootin, WBAL-TV 11 News.